So my friend Jill and I went walking down to the beach a couple of days ago to see the rocket launch and we thought while we were there we would look for some treasures. I mean look at this little tiny thing. Can you see it? Look at that. I also look for sea glass and we haven't had much lately but I did find two good pieces. The This was the first one that I found. It's kind of a really pale blue. I just love it. And I think what I'm going to do today is try to get as close to this color as I can for my next project. So let's get started. I already mixed up my resin and my silicone cup. I'm using Liquidy Split, the fast set from KS Resin. Love that stuff. Need to get some more. I wanted to show the difference in color. This is a piece of white, of clear glass that I found a while back, I guess. And you can tell the difference in, in the piece that I found a couple of days ago, the blue. It's light blue. I mean, these aren't super rare, but they're really fun to find. That's what I want to try to recreate today. <clears throat> We'll try to get as close as we can. So this is my quad turner. Got it on Amazon. I'll link everything in the description below. We're going to paint some resin on these glasses. I love doing this. Super fun and they're great sellers. I'm going to split my resin. I eh, put a little bit too much in that, that one. So I'm going to leave a little bit in here for my white. I do want white. got to work fast. So this is, um, this is KS Resin Liquid Resin Dye in Turquoise. I love this color. It is so, so cool. Don't need much. And the nice thing about the liquid dyes is that you can add more or less, just depending on what you're going for. It is such a nice color. And the other cup is a mica powder from Seiso, S-E-I-S-S-O. I will put a link in the, in the description. Got this on Amazon. It's just a really nice color here. And I'm not gonna add much. I, I don't want a really deep, deep color. So I'm gonna mix it. And that's gonna give me more of a aqua. I thought I would add a little bit of this. I think this is pearl white. I think I want to add it to that resin dye cup with the turquoise. I'm going to add a little bit in there. It's kind of, it's a really pretty, I don't even know where I got this, but uh, I forgot it on Amazon. It's just a pearly white. I don't know if that's going to make any difference, but I've never tried it, so I'm going to try it. All right. And I should have put a glove on this hand, but I'm going to go with it. So my white, not uh, KS resin. I should have gotten KS resin in white when I bought the turquoise, but I didn't because I had already had this one. And you don't need much in the cup because we are just going to add highlights. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. Actually, I like to make a matching set, but I only had three of this size and one of this size. So this is how I do mine. This is a little Lazy Susan, so I kind of have to hold it. I'll show you why I like this in just a minute. I'm just putting on my resin and I'm getting messy with it right now. I think I might have more of this than the aqua. I do not go all the way to the rim only because I really want to get a solid resin layer on that top and if I go all the way to the rim sometimes I'm left with resin resin residue so you can see right there on the very top and then you have to, you know, scrape it off. You leave a rough edge. So this is why I like this little Lazy Susan because I can spin my turn.
toner. This is an organic edge, and I know some people might might not like that, but in my area, this is what I sell the most of, are these glasses with the organic edge and the cool colors and beachy colors. I mean, these are all beachy colors. This is what is popular. So this is what I make. And this may not be popular in your area, but this is my jam here. So I'm trying to scrape out all of the color that I can. All right? So that is, I'm gonna spin this guy around. resin is definitely heating up. I can feel it, but it's still good. Oh, I really like this color. I mean I have my heat gun now. my white what I'm gonna do here I'm not I think I just want to add lines I don't think I want to do a wave I think I just want to add some organic -y little lines here I just love this white Oh no, this is the non-matching set. Okay. This is the matching set, here we go. I do want to try to move some of this white on these two and then I might look at these. trying to push that white just like you would a, a, like a tray if you're making a, a tray and you're trying to cre recreate the waves that's what you would do but of course on something that's turning like this you are going to get the resin moving you're, the wave is not going to stay in place so I think I do want to apply some heat to these guys and just get some movement. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Really liking it. Really liking this. So I wanted to, to show something else too that I sort of discovered quite by accident when, when we lost power for just a minute and my, my turner stopped. And I was panicking thinking I'm going to have four cups that I'm going to be wasting, but the power came back on. But what happened in the couple of seconds that the power was off, the resin starts flowing down. When the power came back on and then the turner st started working again, I started getting these really neat little, almost like hurricanes, like little whirlpools. So I'm going to turn this side off. Just watching for the resin to start pulling down obviously you don't want to leave it on too long or you'll end up with resin drips but so we can kind of see right here it's happening and then we just pulse it I just pulse it and you just want to encourage the resin to flow until you're happy with what you get and then just turn it back on these are turning out really cool all right, so I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna turn it back on. Oh yeah, there's the little whirlpool happening there. Yeah, 
And these turned out really neat. Oh, there's a, there's a good drip right there. So we just want to encourage that resin to kind of pull down a little bit. Always being careful of the bottom. There's another good one. See, that looks like a wave. That looks like an ocean wave right there. And so I just do this until I'm happy with, with what I see and you're not going to mess it up. I mean, you're not going to mess it up. I mean, I guess you could mess it up if, you know, fly lands in it, but which I have, have happened. Oh, look at that. Here we go. gonna let these spin spin and cure I really love the the liquidy split epoxy for my glasses because I can get a dry to the touch coat in three to four hours and a full cure in 24 hours so that just allows me to to make more in a day more glasses in a day I do want to try more of the liquid resin dyes from KS Resin. I have this turquoise. absolutely love it. Anyone at KS Resin wants to send me some to try, wouldn't be turning it down. I wanted to put some charms on my glasses. These little sea turtles. You can see that. These little sea turtles. They're really cute. So the glasses have been turning for a about maybe an hour or so. The resin in this cup is really set up. It's still workable where you could use it almost like glue. Um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take a glop of it, put it on the back of my turtle. It's in you know the same color as the glass and I'm just gonna find a spot, uh, maybe where there's a little bubble that didn't pop or just a place that seems like a good spot. And I'm gonna put him right there. Obviously you don't want it close to the rim because that's where somebody would put their mouth. I love these little charms. They're really cheap on, honestly, I think I got these at Timu. Oh, don't remember. Just enough to put one on each glass. These are big sellers. They're very popular. It, really anything with a beachy fame does well in my area. Right there. And see, it just kind of sticks on there. It's almost, it, it is like super glue or like the um, E6000. And I could use E6000 after these have set up, but I just like to, to use the, the resin that's been sitting and just has a really good tack blends in. You don't have to worry about the E6000 dripping on anything. Just put this guy right here. See, those are cute. It's perfect. It's just a little something extra. All right, I'm going to let these guys sit some more. I took a break to go to Aldi, get some groceries. There's a Joanne right next door, and I can't believe I'm not going in. I need to get back home and look at these glasses. All right, these have been Turning for about six hours. They are dry to the touch. They still need to cure, but I'm gonna go ahead and take them off the turner. And, oh, that is so nice. That is just perfect. I love that color. Oh, I just love that color. It's got a nice shimmer, different variations in this mica powder. I really love that one. Let's get this one. Sometimes the pool noodles are tough to get out and I put some paper on the outside of the pool noodle before I put it in my glass because I wanted to be able to see the color. Look at that. Be 
the pool noodle is blue, so I wanted to be able to see some contrast. See if I cut the pool noodle a little longer, like that one. I love it. Love that. Love it. Remember, this is my mismatch set. Oh, very cute. Very, very cute. I'm happy. Put these in, in my next craft show for sure. Thank you everyone for watching. These are the finished glasses. And then the inspiration right there. This little guy will be going in my beach class collection back with this one. Appreciate you watching. Hope you learned something new. Thanks for supporting my channel.